Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming in with another episode of Fable 2. All right, when we left off, we had uh, just came back to Knothole Island because apparently now the chieftain is complaining about all of the heat that's coming down, even though he had snow before that. And now he's bitching at me and blaming me for it, even though he took credit for me doing it in the first place. And now he wants me to fix it again. And since I have no real other choice, I'm going to do it anyway. And here's hoping that eventually he gets his comeuppance. Like a certain president that's currently in the office right now. <clears throat> I didn't say nothing. Anywho, we are here with flit switch puzzles. Well, not puzzles per se. They're pretty self-explanatory. But, uh, where are you going? Really? We're gonna play one of these. Oh. I see. Playing this game with me. Alright. That means... Ow. Oh. Okay. That is definitely not what I expected. I just realized I forgot to use those fucking book things again. I noticed in the last episode there were some uh, expressions that I failed to use because I had the books for them. And I just realized I didn't do it during the course of the fucking thing. Vulgar thrust. Like, uh, over the course of the uh, time between recording the last episode and this episode, I just realized I hadn't fucking done it. So now I'm going to fix it. Because God damn it. Some of these are things I should absolutely have had a long time ago. Okay. Books. There we go. Seduction. Seduction? <laughs> Seduction expression I could have used a while ago. There we go. Press RB to find it. Nah, I'm not going to do that quite yet. I have a feeling some of these might be needed for the future. For other things. So, there we go. Middle finger. Yep. That's, that's me, alright. <laughs> alright. All the way back at the bottom. And objection overruled. Was this an expression? No, it wasn't. Okay. Sock it to him. That's what it was. And come hither, dear. There we go. Just one more to go, then. One more to go. And then I'm done with all of this bullshit. Come hither, dear. Come back to my place. <laughs> all right. And I guess we're doing one of these. Okay. So. Chicken. I'm pretty sure that's the one that's right here. And. <laughs> the dog played dead. <laughs> that's great. Alright. And that one goes over here. What the? Okay. Okay. It went over there. Eh, this is playing games with my head now. What do we got? We got the point and laugh. Alright, that's clearly the point and laugh. At least it's gotta be. I hope it is. Yep. There we are. Whoop, jeez. Okay, I got stuck on the door frame. That's not fair. That's not fair at all. Come on. There we go. That's what I wanted. There we go. And does that go where it's supposed to? Nope, of course not. Because that would have been simple and easy. There we go. So that was what it was. Alright. Fair, I guess. Not really corridors per se. Oh, hey! Treasure. Gotta grab that, of course. Because it's me. Loot is my life. Ruby! Hi there. Just rather... Rare, precious stone makes a great romantic gift. Yay. All right. But, what? What are you barking at? What are you barking at, doggo? Oh, treasure. Treasure and loot. My favorite. What do we got? Yeah. Eh? Rusty necklace. Pieces of shit. All right. Well, what the... 
Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, Ow. Fuck. Okay. Okay. Oh jeez. Okay. This is gonna be a thing. Okay. Doggo's not. This is not the time to tell me about dick spot. Okay. I'm just gonna hit them with some magic. Why not? That's actually kind of fun. Hey, hey, hey! Open the doorway. What the? I think the effect got stuck on a couple places. <laughs> I wonder why. Is it because the game's coding is a little wackadoo? I'm willing to bet, yeah. I mean, this is Peter Molyneux game we're talking about here. <laughs> All right. Perfect. Pretty necklace. Hey, something that's actually better than the rusty piece of shit we just grabbed. All right. Now let's go after the way that we opened up. Okay. Yes, I had to make the joke. Shut up. What do we got? Eh? Eh? Flames curse. Okay. You do fire instead of normal damage with each hit, but cause less weapon damage and take more damage in combat. That's not worth it. Why would I want that? That's not worth it at all. Okay. Whoa! That is not fair. Okay, can we eventually turn this off now? Thank you. Jesus. That was unnecessary. Fuck. That was a fucking Tomb Raider Lara Croft trap right there. Jesus. That was unnecessary. Alright. Money bag. Is there another... There's another flit switch up there. How about that? Oh, I see. I knew it was going to do that. But, oh, dig spot. Dig spot. Okay. Okay. All right. You're telling me about dig spot? I shall go to the dig spot. For the loot. Oh. <laughs> Fuck that. Fuck that shit. All right. So, supposed to. Where's the treasure? Oh. That's what I. Really? That's not the button I pressed, goddammit. Oi. Alright, well. Okay. Now it lets me not fall off the edge. That was really weird. I've never seen that particular one before. Another ruby. Yay. Always good. Always good to have more rubies. And this one will go here. Which will go over here. And go over there. That is a really elaborate door for no real reason at all. I like it. I want 12. <laughs> All right. I want 12 in my own house. Oh, jeez. Okay, well, these are no longer shade things. Okay, ow. Fuck. Fuck you. Okay. Away we go. And... Really? Why is the spell casting button always acting up on me? Always. Every time. Fuck you. All right, and full charge, murder. Okay. Fuck you. Fuck you. Come on, guy. Dial. There we go. That's what I wanted. Oh, I made some of them skeletons. 
Oh my. Oh my. All right. Ooh. Huh. A skeleton candle holder. Well, a skull candle holder, technically. What are we in, Nom? It's a sort of macabre shit you see in Nom. Not that I mind. Alright. Is there anything over here? Not really. Okay. So I guess we're supposed to go this way, where I heard more... Hobbs. At least I thought I did. Hmm. Oh, treasure chest. Hey, hey, hey! Looked like a pile of junk over here a minute ago. And bones. And things. Oh, not whole night shirt. How about that? I have most of the night suit already. How about that? When warriors of Not Whole Island first began to die out, the local blacksmith created a spectacular armor so anyone might enter weather shrines. This shirt is meant to protect the wearer from the rashes normally associated from such armor. Okay. All right, as long as you say so, I have a feeling that you're probably right. All right. Um Oh, there's a dig spot too. Where? Where is the dig spot? Doggo, show the way. Show the way. Yes, I keep making that joke. Shut up. It's extra meme -y, So, of course, it's extra meme. Yeah. Perfect. 500. And by meme I mean meme dash Y. <laughs> In case you are unaware, I do know how to pronounce meme. And what do we got with that? Hey, hey! Perfect. Good shit. Although I have a feeling I'm going to get ambushed as soon as I head out here. Or not. Okay, I'll take it. I will take it. I kind of want to look at how that shirt will work out. Whoops, not under that. Under clothing. Good, okay. For uh, upper body. Not whole night shirt. Oh, hey! That actually kind of works. It has less attractiveness as opposed to the uh, noble gents shirt, but I mean, it works. Hmm. I could toggle this to be closed. Huh. Eh. I'll, I'll stick with the noble gent shirt. Because it matches currently. I just wanted to get a good look at it. It's been a while since I looked at the full set. What are you growling at? Oh, I see now. Okay then. Why is there a load of blood on the fucking floor? At least I assume that's blood. Okay. Oh jeez, come on. And... Full charge. And... Kaboom. There we go. Did that kill them all? Killed most of them. Actually killed all of them. Good. Good, 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 good. And they're all skeletonized because of it. That's one of my kind of favorite things about it. Is that it just makes them full-ass skeletons. Is that a fucking teddy bear? That is a fucking teddy bear. Alrighty. Well then, that's a thing. Not Whole Island, Volume 3. The tribe's elation at finally finding the island was short-lived. Instead of the balmy, flora-covered paradise they had expected, they found a frozen tundra. The ancient, magical civilization who had created the weather totems thousands of years ago did not intend this boon to come without a price, for they feared it would make their lives too easy. 
provide a challenge, they set the totems in three shrines, full of dangers to those seeking to use them. The journey to the island was just the beginning of the tribe's trials. Now their strongest warriors would have to face the shrines. And then look what happened. They became weak babies. Okay. Break these. I see. Hey, hey, hey! Is it gonna stay open while I'm on that? Yeah, it looks like it. Okay. I'll take it. Alright. What do we got? More shenanigans. Yay. Okay. Treasure. More treasure. I shall always take more treasure if I can get it. Anything? Emerald! The emeralds. Need the emeralds. Ooh, dig spot. Where? Where, doggo? Okay. Cool. I'll get that. Drink my coffee in me, huh? Yeah! Clumsy skill potion. Yeah, about what I expected. <laughs> I, I dropped my uh, coffee down just enough so that way I could do the yeah, and that was half the noise, if you heard that on the microphone. Which you should have, because it was right in front of the microphone. Alright, what do we got in here? Some shenanigans. Watery shenanigans. Also, the thing over here. Whatever the fuck this is. Ah, civil ring. That's nice. That's nice and civil. Okay, what do we got? Anything? Anything? Ooh, a treasure chest. I shall always take the treasure chest if I have the ability to. And... Gangrene Fairy. I'll take it. What the... Oh. Oh. Oh my... Okay. Oh, jeez. Okay. Please shut all of that off. Oh, it didn't. It just... Damn it. It's gonna be the switch, isn't it? God damn it. The flip switch was just for opening the door, I suspect. Okay. This... Wait, what? It only turned off half of them. What? Okay. It just slowed them down. Would this slow them all the way down and turn them off? I... Guess so. I'll take it. Fine, sure. That's fine by me. Ah, and that opened the door. All right. Ooh, treasure chest. A mossy treasure chest. I wonder what it is. Night gauntlets. Alrighty. That's actually pretty good. Of course, none of the villagers could lift an arm while wearing one of these gauntlets, much less go adventuring in them. Fair. Okay. I might put those on. Honestly. I might put those on. I, I keep going to items when I mean clothing. God damn it. These are actually pretty close to the felt-lined carriage gloves. And I, since I haven't found anything better than that... Yeah. Let's, let's put these on. Sure. Yeah, that's it. That's a look. That is a look and a half. Alright. Could I dye them is the question that I have. And I'm not sure. Hands and no. Okay, well. That's fine. That's fine. As long as I have cool shit. But the, oh. Oh, great. It had to be one of these, didn't it? Alright, and there we go. 
Fuck that. That's what I just fine. Fuck you. And woo! <laughs> oh, that killed them all. Alrighty then. Not bad. Whoop, okay. Okay. Need to do a little bit of this. Oh, these. Ow. Ow. Okay. Back away. That was what I wanted. Whoop. Okay. That was definitely not what I wanted at all. I just wanted them shot. Why is it shocking them anymore? Okay. All I want is just a little shot. That's all. Easy. Okay. Fuck. Ow. Fuck you. Fuck. Fuck. Always. Okay. Okay. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Ha ha ha. There's the totem. I should be checking if there's anything else treasure-wise in this room. Good fight. Alright. Outstanding, rather. Just, just as fine. I don't see any other sort of treasure other than the totem. Yeah. That's fine. That's fine. I needed the totem anyway. Here comes the rain. Hey, look at that. Actually looks like a sort of islandy sort of thing. Look at that. Return to the chieftain. And let me guess, he's going to steal credit again. I'm willing to bet he's going to steal credit again. What? Treasure? Where? Where's the treasure? Where is the treasure, doggo? Over... That's not over here. Was it over here? No. It's over where I was, I guess. Okay, that's where it was. Ah, it's the book. Volume 9. Alright. With the island stuck in perpetual winter and none of its inhabitants strong enough to survive the shrines, a local blacksmith set out to create an armor that would protect its wearer against all the trials and dangers one was likely to encounter. It was a magnificent suit, with just one small failing. It was far too heavy for the now weedy and rather useless members of the tribe. They tried to get round this problem by just wearing bits of it each, but even then, gauntlets made of... <laughs> Even then, gauntlets made hands, rather. <laughs> made of hands is a really weird fucking thing. Too leaden to lift. Boots made feet too sluggish to walk. And the helmet made necks too broken to support living heads. <laughs> its many pieces were eventually lost in the shrines. Well, I found some of them. If not most of them already. I think it was just shirt... Uh... Gauntlets, boots, and leggings I found. But that's pretty much most of them. I think I only have the, uh... Up, the, uh, overcoat and the helmet left to grab. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's all that's left. Oh, and let me guess. Let me guess, let me guess. That my assumption is correct. That he'll steal credit. And then bitch about it. Oh, rain. Glorious yep. rain. I've saved the island once again, all thanks to the cunning guidance I've offered you. You told me it was over there somewhere you well, find it. And I commend you. Uh, consider the new shopping opportunities to be your reward. Now, I must oversee the collection of water and make sure everybody pays the proper rain toll. Rain toll? This is Chieftain Trump. This is essentially Chieftain Trump. God, I want you dead. <laughs> Thanks to you, the great knothole heat wave has come to an end. Lakes will fill, crops will grow, baths will be had. The augment shop should be able to access its stock now, too. That's 
actually worthwhile. That's the only thing worthwhile out of all of this shit. Yeah! Yeah! Now let's get a look at that, shall we? Could you get out of my way, please? Thank What's you. Someone like you doing in this place? What am I doing in a town like this? Uh, helping you. Because your chieftain's a fucking idiot. Orange, angry, fucking Good idiot. Well, I get, might have added the first two. But still, nonetheless. Alright, let's buy this up now that I have the ability to. Perfect. And, let's see. What do you have? I wish all my customers were like you. I bet you do. Now these I should weapons should be that. the knot hole weapons that have the yep multiple augment slots. Wow, that one has four? I didn't know that was a thing. I didn't know that was a thing. That's cool. Oh, but none of them are the cool ones that I have, though. Oh, man. That sucks. But, I'll sell this. It looks Perfect good skins. Shape. Not necessary. I'll keep this. Sell. Keep these. Let me look at some of your augments, huh? You have an augment remover. That's right. I forgot. Come back anytime. That's... I completely forgot they had the augment remover. <laughs> now it makes it so easy. Now I don't need to fucking buy 19 different fucking augments. <laughs> Uncanny luck. In combat, you do more damage and take less. People tend to fear such unnatural good luck. Well, I'm sure they do. Typically. Alright. Nasty scars. Sacred scars. Huh. Huh. When battling evil enemies, you do additional damage. When fighting good opponents, you do less. Either way, you scar easily. And nasty scars is the opposite. Of course it is. Slow burn. Changes your weapon's damage type to fire, but your health constantly <laughs> depletes down to 75% of your maximum. That's not good. Apparently energy drain is the same. Scourge. Righteous Violent. Huh. Piercing Agony. Evil Triumphs. You do greater damage against all opponents, especially good ones, and take less. Double-edged Augment. You're skilled with the augmented weapon, but you scar easily. When you fight, no one walks away looking pretty. <laughs> Fair enough. Alright. Rich Guilt. Huh. The ease with which you find money on your dead enemies eats at you. Your health is constantly depleted. <laughs> wow. That's something. I definitely recommend that. Soft skin. You find money easily, so you're not used to working hard. Consequently, you scar easily. Okay, fair. Combat mastery. Huh. You're tough and deadly in battle, and with each victory fight. you gain extra There's experience. No finer item in this town. Huh. It's not luck. That's what you tell yourself. You deal extra damage, take less, and find gold on your vanquished foes. That's actually Thank really fucking cuss. good, as is that. You enjoy it. Oh my god. That's great. That is all great. I love it. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm gonna work on that. <laughs> and I'm gonna end the episode here for right now. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments. We can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and the only Stray Cat playing games. And finally fixing Not Whole Island's problems. And of course the Chieftain Trump takes fucking credit again. Oh, he's going to get what's coming to him. For you.